Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. In our previous video, we discussed MD simulations and how we can prepare our files in Discovery Studio Visualizer and then uh, by using I modes, uh, we perform initially a basic step that uh, we can submit our results and then after some time uh, it will produce our results with the ID which is represented here so uh, we today we are going to discuss the results of uh, MD simulation and uh, here we obtain our results and uh, after the uh, submission of our uh, file uh, when the results are ready it will directly open our results we don't need to copy these and uh, ID and paste here so it it also has some previous examples we can also uh, use these examples for our understanding so let's start with this js mole we have three options uh, for opening this file one is html file if we have a web browser it is usually open in html file we also have a webgl or java so we can use different formats for opening this file and uh, for this one we visualize we have one mode we have an option of up to 20 modes and uh, the arrow fields represent that the movement of the residues and these are the affinity arrows which shows here and it is the affinity so, so we also have some other parameters like here it, it this protein has two clusters and uh, it can be three four five and we can choose from here also and uh, either we are going to visualize pdb b factor beta factor or normal mode analysis so here we are studying normal mode analysis nma mobility we can also check deformability and uh, others so here we are going to the representation the representation will be either cartoon fancy cartoon or other space field or wireframe our ball and stick so we can we have different options for uh, these structure to represent we can also save this file reset view and we can also generate movie frame or we can also take a snapshot like here we have taken a snapshot and we can save this file and uh, after this i am also going to show you along with this one that we have tutorial of this i modes so it represents basic advanced and morphing so what are the basic nma mor morphing and advanced level so i am going to show you one by one so from here we started here that uh, we selected our file and uh, it is a pdb file then we submitted and uh, from here we have chosen this carbon atom and we have different three different options for this one so alpha carbon atoms for whole residues we also have an option of c5 in which there are five atoms per residue three for the backbone which is uh, nitrogen alpha carbon and carbon and two for the side chain or r and uh, for ha HA it represents all the heavy atoms so it it is the it, it represents heavy atoms present in the in the chain are heavy atoms and for nucleic acid this HA is, is automatically selected so we can select from here like here in when we are going to submit our results I, we can open it in new file format and we can show I can show you that I will so i modes this home server so from here 
we can select that it is the c5 or ha so we can select here and i am today i will show you that we can also uh, represent the atoms so these are the files and uh, after this we have this html or java or web gl so i have also so in basic mode we have default parameters but in advanced mode we can select our parameters like here i have shown you that uh, here we can choose the um, number of modes from 1 to 100 we have and in default we have 20 like here home server we have in advanced <coughs> so here we have 1 to 100 we can select here and these are the bond angles so from here these are the fixed angle ratios that is 0 to 1 and uh, here we have elastic network mode for elastic network mode or ENM we have different values we can choose either sigma tyrion or Heinsen or EDNMA so we have different parameters so we can select here and uh, here is the cutoff value for this one so ENM cutoff value and then clusters are deformability so we can choose these one clusters are deformability or but it will take some more time and morphing is another parameter of five modes which is used for alignment of our proteins so we can use this parameter if we want to we have two different proteins that we are going to align our proteins or we can align our protein with the already present databases so in morphing we have alignment method so we can use this alignment method and we can align our proteins and uh, I can show you the results that how morphing occurs so here we can use a defined uh, protein for alignment or we can use local superimpose or global superimposition and uh, in this way for morphing we have different results so these are the uh, some other like here we have the pdb file and there we can select our email and after that it is the here we are we have different results so this tutorial represents that how we can interpret our results so all these parameters i have already shown you that what is the uh, function of these parameters and uh, after this we have these so Today we will discuss that how these these graphs can be uh, represented. So first of all, we will move to beta factor or mobility. So this represents this beta factor or mobility represents here the residues are at atoms. If, if we select HA, then uh, then here we have an atoms. And if we are going to select residues, then here will be the, it represents the 261 amino acid residues present in our chain. And uh, here it is the deformability. The maximum deformability value represents the deformability of amino acid, which means that these amino acids are going to interact. And we can also choose the atoms for the selection. And uh, how we can analyze this table? For the analysis of this table, when we got our results, I am going to show you that how we will analyze or interpret these results. And uh, after this, so here we have NMA, normal mode analysis and PDB. So it represents that PDB has this type of a gray color graph and uh, after normal mode analysis, we have this kind of graph. So it is different than the pdb it means the difference represents that the interaction of the residue occurs so the experimental b factor is taken from the pdb field and the calculated from nma was obtained by multiplying nma mobility okay and uh, here we have eigenvalue uh, eigenvalue represents that the it is associated with the uh, represents the motion and stiffness so its value is directly related to the energy required to deform the structure so more or less energy it means more deformation of the residue will occur easily more easily the deformation will occur 
so where the value is more negative or more less it means the deformation will be greater and uh, here is the variance associated to the each normal mode is inversely related to eigenvalue this is the uh, inversely to eigenvalue and uh, in here we have the amino acids which are going to uh, correlate with each other so it is the covariance map uh, it represents the coupling between pairs of residues whether they experience correlated which is represented with red color when they correlate and when they are not correlate they are in white and anti-correlation represented in blue color so the correlation is also important so we can check that our amino acids are with amino acids are going to correlate and here is the stiffness elastic network it represents the stiffness of the amino acid residues the elastic network mode defines which pairs of the atoms are connected by springs and each dot in the graph represents one spring between the corresponding pairs of atoms so the stiffness is uh, represented with these gray color so the darker gray indicates the stiffer springs and the vice versa so here are our results we can uh, check our results deformability or mobility tabulated data so here we have deformability tabulated data and this data is up to 261 amino acid residues it can also be exported so this file is important and it represents the first graph that I have shown you that we can check this this one only this oh, and I have opened it in notepad and then I have only taken this DN value here so this these are the values so it will give us that the interaction which which amino acids are going to interact so I have opened it in Excel so after making in Excel uh, we can also uh, make graph in origin so in origin it will be like this so it is the same graph that is shown here like I am going to show you that I mode server so this is the graph that represents the interaction of amino acid residues so here is the deformability which is greater so these graph this graph can be represented either in origin pro so these are the values these are the peaks which represents deformability and here we have the data of this graph we can either either open it in uh, origin or we can also open it in excel format so here we have the data of 261 amino acid residues and this amino acid residue data is obtained from the file and uh, from this file which represents deformability mobility tabulated data which is i mode deformability and uh, if we if we all if we select all these file or we are going to download this file so we can open this file in it is zip format so here like here we have this file in zip format and i have opened this file and after opening this we have all these files like here we can open it one by one like here i am going to show you that if i have deformability pdb file so i will download it like this and then i will open it in so here i have this file and i will open with discovery studio visualizer and uh, here I am going to select deformability style. so these are the residues for deformability mode so in this way we can open all these files and uh, we can uh, select either this file or we will open this zip file and then we get all these files so here is the deformability graph and uh, this graph is 
almost similar that we have taken this one so it gives us that it is this this amino acid is 4 and this is the um, 2 amino acid this is 4 amino acid and then this is uh, amino acid residue 62 and then here this amino acid 200 and then these amino acids these are 253 and then here it is 243 amino acid and uh, this amino no, this amino acid is 243 and this amino acid is actually 246 it is not 240 245 so 243 and 245 amino acid so in this way we can expand this and uh, we can check that uh, which amino acids 244 243 and here so in this way we can uh, check our residues that which are going to deform more uh, so uh, i have opened it in excel so here it is also the same graph which re represents these these amino acid residues which are which are which have greater deformability and uh, also we can we can also open other files like here uh, we have this mobility of C alpha and uh, Egan values. So here we have Egan values for the residues. So these are the Egan values for the uh, re residues. And uh, the another one is the log file. So this is our log file. so it represents different parameters that here we have the chain and uh, amino acid residues and retro atoms and some other information and then we have Egan values here for 1 to 10 mode we have Egan values and different other information is present in log file so we can download all these files uh, once only single time from here it is a zip file and then we will open this zip folder extract this file and then we will get these all these graphs <coughs> like here these are the uh, which represents co 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 correlation and here we have even value data table and uh, <coughs> similarly we can uh, again we can make these tables again in a microsoft excel or uh, origin pro and then we can analyze our results more easily and uh, here we have also these files like here here i have opened this is our value so i have opened this value which is which gives us the uh, dn represents us this uh, deformability values <coughs> and some these are other values which it presents but uh, this second is the important which gives us that graph of deformability okay and uh, now i am going to show you that uh, how we can uh, make some other files like here if in discovery studio visualizer so okay so we can select some other formats like here if we are going to submit and uh, i am going to open it in retro atoms format and now i am going to submit this one so again i am going to submit this file but this time i am selecting this not only alpha carbon atoms but i am going to select all the atoms which are present in the pdb file So let's see our results it will take some time sometime it takes more time and sometime it is it opens early so I am waiting for this and uh, so far here we we are going to show you that how we can uh, use this to make active site residues so from here So we can go to script and then selection 
so we can only select ligands or protein chain or water molecules or we can select atom within four angstrom of the residue so first we will select our ligand and then this is another important thing that we are going to select four angstrom residues which are near to this uh, ligand and uh, we can also go to ligand interaction and uh, we can show ligand binding site atoms so here it represents binding of the atoms which are going to bind with the ligand again we can go to ligand interaction and uh, we can create surface around our ligand so here now we have selection it represents the surface around our ligand and this surface is depend on hydrogen bond donor and acceptor so here purple color represents hydrogen bond donor and green color represents hydrogen bond acceptor atoms so in this way we can make and then we again we can go to script and then ligand interaction go to ligand interaction and uh, in this way we can also use find residue close to selection define a delete ligand group or show ligand binding site so now i am going to select our ligand and again go to script structure ligand interaction and then find residue close to the ligand so in this way we can select the residues are which are close to our ligand and uh, again we can also select ligand so select our ligand then script selection and select atoms within four angstrom now these are the atoms which are present four angstrom near to our ligand and in this way we can select these atoms and uh, also we can go to script selection select water molecules or protein chains or select ligand so in this way these are some different options or parameters which we can use during our uh, ligand interaction uh, analysis and uh, we can only select these one and we can remove other ones and uh, let's suppose we have these uh, these are the active site residues present and now i am going to remove other atoms i am going to uh, so we will select our ligand so from here select ligand and then again go to script selection and select go to ligand interaction and select ligand uh, residues find residues go close to selection so these are the residues which are close to our ligand and we have selected these and then we will right click here and then go to invert selection now the residues which are far from the ligand or which are not going to interact with the ligand we have invertly selected and then we are going to remove these atoms so in this way we will only get our residues which are close to our ligand and then we can save this file and we can also uh, save this file as pdb file format and then we can upload this file again we can upload this file here in i mode so now here we got our results now i'm going to show you that this is now we have selected the ha hetero atoms in which we have all the atoms here this is our ligand which is present inside the active site and uh, these are the different proteins and uh, here we have arrow fields and affinity arrows 
okay and uh, now we have so here now we have atoms so 2000 atoms which are going to show you that deformability and from here we can select that which atoms are going to interact with our residue so for this we again have to make a graph on excel and we can check this one and here we have pdb and nma comparison and eigenvalue and then these are the variance and here is the covariance map for our ligand interaction so from here we will go to our deformability so this dn represents that our residue which which atoms are going to interact and now we have 2000 atoms and we can make graph in excel again so in this way we can choose this one we can also uh, obtain this file this image or this protein deformability or mobility uh, file or results from here so i am going to open this in pdb format now this is downloaded and now i am going to open this we have discovery studio visualizer and i am going to open this file now this is our final result file which gives deformability and so here we get our ligand and this is our protein that is obtained after md simulation okay so today we discussed that uh, how we can select our uh, files and then results of our md simulations and uh, again we can select here the file which we have saved in only the residues which are present uh, around our ligand like here i have shown you that so from here we can select this file we can save this file and we can only select this file for our interaction and uh, again we can get our results like i am going to show you i am going to save here as as active site here active site submit results so it will take less time and uh, here we have our ligand and uh, these are the active site formats we can select ball and stick model around this one so in this way animation So these are our parameters for this interaction. So this is our ligand which is uh, shown in this uh, green color. We can select this ligand and we can make it in other formats. So now it is shown here that its interactions these are this is our uh, zinc residue so here we this is our zinc 302 is if we select we will click on this we get our this is zinc 302 this is amino acid which is steady 96 this is steady 94 and steady 119 and then other amino acid residues so in this way we can take this snapshot of this picture okay 
and then we can analyze our results okay so thanks for watching my video in our next video we will come with some other molecular dynamic simulation topics